Welcome back, beer tubers. Today, we're taking a look at Lagunitas IPA. This is a beer I picked up at the Home Brewers Conference. It was a little leftover from the grand banquet uh, that they had right before the ceremony for the national awards. So uh, there's some extra bottles of Lagunitas IPA. Picked one up, 6.2%, uh, so lower side of uh, alcohol for an IPA. And I'm using this glass from uh, Vibe. This is the Ventura Independent Beer Enthusiast with their uh, up more like Central Coast California uh, homebrew club. And uh, they're kind enough to give me this glass. So I thought it'd be appropriate to use it for this review since I also picked it up at the conference. Uh, I had a lot of fun, but uh, let's get into this beer. It pours out very clear, um, pretty just much orange and maybe slightly off white head on there. <clears throat> smells like a, a lot more juicy hop uh, citrus notes um, like mandarin orange some floral notes like ruby red grapefruit juice um, almost like a sweet pine character as well uh, and it's kind of, it, it, which kind of goes into actual just pineapple. We got like a little pineapple on there, so it smells great. Uh, smells really fresh, so I think they brought us some really fresh bottles. Let's dive in. Cheers. Yeah, um, aroma is a little more intense than the flavor. I'm just wondering if they're like dry hopping more or with different hops than compared to the flavor hops. Uh, I do pick up some malt and flavor, getting um, a hint of a light crystal, uh, like honey sweetness. Maybe not quite caramel, but a little more honey sweetness. Getting a really big uh, bready note. Um, really intense bready note to it. So I wonder if it's different than say like a two row malt, but it still could be two row as well, but kind of English like uh, base malt character. Um, get some of that sweet orange note. Um, less pineapple, a bit more pine. Um, touch of grapefruit in there. Definitely that floral note. I mean, it's a solid, really drinkable beer. Doesn't quite have that big, juicy, uh, hot punch that a lot of uh, newer IPAs tend to have, but you know, this one's been around a while. I don't know how much the recipes change, but and it's 6.2%. It's a, definitely a sessionable IPA in the sense that uh, you could have a few of these, no problem. You know, it's not seven plus percent. So, um, you know, solid beer. I prefer the aroma more than the flavor. Uh, yeah, I'm just getting more like sweeter, uh, juicier hot notes on the aroma than I am on the flavor which kind of is a little bit more balanced between the hops and the malt, but uh, it makes it really drinkable. So, uh, you know, this one's, you know, borderline classic. I mean, I'm pretty sure they brew this beer more of this than any other beer up at Lagunitas. So, um, you know, and the price, the price is always great on their beers. So if you find it fresh, worth picking up if you don't have any better IPA options. So it's going to wrap this one up. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.